danced for the, uh, when, when the ring announcer asked for it, come on, do it again, do it louder. They do it louder. They do, yeah. They, they do. do. In any other state, when you ask, oh. Look at goodness. Clay. Wow. <laughs> come on, man. Justin Buckles with a nice Superman punch right there. Clay Collar doing a great job catching that leg and dumping Buckles right on his can in the first 15 seconds of this fight. <laughs> look, look at Collard with the, with the rabbit punches to the belly. Nice knees to the face. Wow, these Justin guys Buckles. are trading. We knew this was going to be electric, and we knew this thing had uh, fight of the night implications. And like I said, man, Clay Collar doesn't care how many fights you have in the UFC. He's going to come to bang. Clay Collar is coming straight forward, where Justin Buckles has actually knocked people out with that front teeth. Right to the chin, so he's got to be careful on leaning in. Well, you've got to be careful, too. And he throws that head kick that was chopped, but then right there working in on that clinch. Right now in the... Tie clinch. Oh, huge knee by Justin Buckles. It slipped through. Oh, and a oh, nice elbow. Beautiful left there by Collard. Collard trying to keep his head up from that clinch. Boy, Clay's got a nasty tie clinch. And he's, like you guys were saying, he's got such dexterity and flexibility in his legs. He gets those kicks up and those knees up so high. He throws those punches with everything behind him. Well, I'm telling you what, Clay has landed some good shots to the dome of Justin Buckles right there and pushing the action. Whereas last time we fought him fight, Justin Buckles fight, he was the one pushing the action. So we saw this sweep a little uh, second ago here in the beginning of the round, but he lets that leg go and he's content to have Buckles back against the cage. Buckles throwing that elbow, but missing. Oh. <laughs> So far, neither of these lightweights have shown any inclination whatsoever to go to the ground. They want nice. to entertain the fans here in Orem. There's a nice knee to the body by Buckles and then a nice shot over the oh, top by Clay left. Collard. You see that left there by Collard and I think he's, he's got Buckles thinking now. He does, he's landing some good ones. I tell you what, Justin Buckles are relentless on that clinch, isn't he? I cannot believe Collard is 19 years old. 19, man. This kid sh is showing so much poise in there. He reminds me of a he reminds me of a Rory McDonald in the UFC, just that fresh faced kid. Right. It's so unassuming, but he's so damn tough. Oh, good nice hook shot. cross by Justin Buckles. Great combination. Looks like Justin's got a little cut over his eye, starting. Now, finally, the kicks are finding their mark, oh. just missing that straight right kick right up the pike. And a nice elbow by Clay Carr there, and another oh, elbow man. by Clay Carr that was nice, and another elbow by Carr as Justin's looking to tie that clinch up. Collard's hit him with five solid elbows, and then the Buckles answers with a knee to the body right there, and these guys are trading. Oh, they are trading. What a great fight. Buckle says, I, enough is enough. I'm shooting in. Look at oh, Collard, Collard working it. Letting him go right and a left, left and a right, right. Unanswered punches now from Collard. Buckles has got to change something up. He has. He's been really, really trying to get that clinch, and it's, it hasn't paid off because every time he ties it up, Collard smashed him with an elbow, and it took seven of those, I think, before Buckles realized not to clinch up anymore. Quick hands by Collard. Wow. Quick hands. Quick hands. Stepping into the pocket, letting his hands go. <laughs> Another nice love shot. Love the, di the diversity <laughs> that both of these are throwing. They're throwing everything. Working on their, t their takedowns, working on their combinations, their knees, everything. Buckles is getting the worst of it, though. As, as good as he is with the tie clinch, he's not been able to cinch the clinch, and he can't get the knees working for him. It's been really the last minute and a half. It's been Collard. As good as Buckles is. Nice leg outside kick. leg kick there. But nice there. jab oh. by Collard. Left and then a right that landed on the face of Buckles and another left hook. Wow. Now the knee and the left, two lefts. Oh my goodness. Just dropping bombs on him right here. <laughs> awesome shots by Clay Collard. And then the knee and then more shots. He's got him against the ropes. Bombing him with everything. Left and a right. <laughs> nice right knee there from Buckles. Just missing the elbow. Collar's got to be careful. 20 seconds left on the clock here as these two lightweights trade shots. Clay Collard isn't even, it doesn't even look tired. 
He does it, and he's been pushing forward, 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 forward. And a nice takedown right there by Clay Collard. But he did leave his neck behind, but that's okay because Buckles Ooh. is not in a position, and wow. Good, good first round. Good. Not in Clay Collard's head at all. In fact, Clay's in his head right now. Right. Third man in this cage, Steve Mazzagatti gonna get this second round underway. Ah, there's the adjustment right there from yeah. Team Alpha Male. I'm sorry, rather, yeah, from Team Alpha, Team Male. Alpha Male. Just take him down, baby. Just get, just, this. you're losing the stand-up war. Take it down. He's gotta be careful, though. Uh, you know, some of, some of uh, Clay's wins have been by submission. Not as much as they have in TKO and knockouts, but uh, he still has uh, submitted guys in the past, so. And Pollard right back, back to his feet. Much to the crowd's delight. That's right. Oh, nice and Buckles uppercut. line, nice uppercut. Through that separation. Nice shot right there, and a big uppercut by Clay Collard that knocks Buckles to his back, and now he's inside of his guard. Yeah, now he's Buckles gotta be careful hurt. here. Buckles is hurt. He he blasted him with that shot. Buckles recomposing the half guard, but he's gotta do a lot more than that. He's and gotta Buckles get back to his feet. Bleeding. And Buckles is bleeding, he has a big shot. He's gonna give up, he just gotta keep beating on him. Just keep beating on him. Man in the shots, and I'm not sure what Mazzagani's doing because he's clearly Given up. I mean, he was taking some big shots, looking for his way out. Looks like he's still looking. He's going to grab a hold of that leg and try to. You know, for hopefully. desperation, because right. I don't know what he's got going on. Collard was bombing on him. And the takedown by Buckles. Boy, that was an opportune time. But, now he's going for the choke. And Clay has to be careful. He doesn't have it. And oh, and a big elbow right there by Buckles. The blood came. I'm telling you, there, Buckles is out of this thing because he is looking for ways. He's given up here. He's gonna try to hold on to that leg and maybe look for another pull in, but if Collard was smart, hammer that head. Hammer that head and end this fight. I he's, think this is it. Well, he's turning his back on his opponent, and that's a sure, that's a sign right there. But he's still game, though. He's still game. And you gotta give him the opportunity to recover. I guess so, but I tell you what, a second ago, man, I just thought that this fight was done. See, but as soon as you say that, he can Buckles do that. sneaks around and gets in the back of Clay Collard, and now this is not good for Clay. Clay doing He's a great too job. Yeah. That blood. It's going to be tough. Submission attempts going forward here. Wow. The, the next two and a half minutes here in round two are going to be very difficult for any of, for either of these guys, but right now, Buckles doing a good job of recomposing himself. He's hey, into he, the full closed guard. He's into the full closed guard of Clay Collard. What he's gonna try to do is shake the cobwebs, stay in top position, stay in a dominant position, and let the cobwebs clear. And that's what a veteran would do, you know, Jay, and, that, and that's, I mean, obviously, the experience of Justin Buckles and, uh, you know, weathered the storm. Got was getting beat on, and then now looking for the, the opportunity to submit, and Clay Collard now looking to get to his feet. Mazzagatti looking very closely at this sub attempt. It's hard to Does tell he from have our it? angle. Does he have it? Very tough to tell. He's trying to fight it's it, he's trying to fight it, though. but Buckles has got it. Collard looks over at Mazzagatti and says, I'm okay. His corner is telling him to bring his body towards them, which is towards Mazzagatti. He's okay. He's okay. He now we're gonna see. That yeah, we're gonna. Now see. Buckles landing two huge elbows. How about a little taste of your own medicine? And then Clay Carr hits him with a big shot. Oh! oh and he right. dropped him with that shot. Rocked him. Buckles is in a lot of trouble now. He can't see out of one eye from and the blood, and he's gassed out of that submission attempt. His arms are gone, but he is a gamer. He is a gamer. Clay what Collard. a fight. Clay Collard putting in work, sweeping the legs, and then he's just got to be careful. And a great job right here landing. Oh, another big shot from underneath. Landing big shots. Even those shots underneath. have power on uh, them. Uh, uh, this thing can't go too much longer, man. I'll tell you, though. 30 seconds left on the clock. He's Clay not Collard. Defending himself. 
He is, he does not like this. He Clay punches his head. He's going for the leg, and this is how he got collared down before, that's though. Right. And I, I guess that's what Yvette does. And Mazzagatti hasn't stopped it, and, you know, but I guess Buckles is doing enough. He's doing He's enough. He's doing just enough. And I think Mazzagatti, oh, that left was nasty. But Mazzagatti's taking, and there it is. Wow. Wow, that's right. Wow, that's right. Wow. Look at that laceration on the side of Buckles' head. He is bleeding good right now. And Clay Collard, not really a mark on him. Clay Collard absolutely dominating that second round. Wow. Doctor in to take a look at Buckles and make sure that he's okay. Gary Anderson in there, the rest of the team here. They will take a very close look at Buckles and make sure he goes around. He has it, man. Buckles is tough, boy. Oh, he's tough. He is taking a beating. And, but he's in this fight. And that's the thing to remember. Hey man, that's the thing Justin Buckles is, you know, he's, he's a part of Team Alpha Male for a reason. They just don't let anybody come walk through those doors and stake, you know, stop that uh, name on themselves. Justin Buckles is a tough, tough dude and a veteran, you know. The doctor went over to Team Alpha Male in between and, and warned them and said, if I if he takes too much more of this beating, we are going to stop the fight. Yeah. So Team Alpha Male nice head kick probably told Buckles to just go for it. Just let it go. Yeah. Finish the fight. That's the danger. That more than anything, obviously Buckles is never going to give up. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, he doesn't have it. Buckles won't give up. His worst enemy right now is the cut, yeah. and his and yeah. his yeah the beatdown. No, you're right about that. And, and and once again, being the savvy veteran that he is, he's going to look for things that you know some fighters may not look for later on in the round when you're sucking pond water, you're bleeding. Things like this, you know, that, that submission attempt that he had earlier in, or later in the second round was a pretty slick submission. He's so exhausted, though, that he, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to put these submissions on now. But he's still punching, and that was, those are actually two crisp piece. punches. They, they missed, but he's still got game in him, and he's still got a, a good crisp punch. He's not out of this fight. Oh! oh nice head kick. And a huge head kick that may have just changed this game right here. Going for the sub right now. He's giving it everything he has. He's going for it here, guys. He's going for it. He's giving he it everything he has. He's squeezing it with everything that he has. And Clay didn't give it to him. Even though Clay got rocked by that head kick. Oh. And there it is. He's got the submission on. Oh. Tight. Oh. That thing is on there, man. Clay's fighting it. He, he got, got it. So. Oh, my God. Goodness. The crafty veteran, wow. <laughs> wow. Sending in the hands to make this thing official. Oh, man. I love showdown fights. I love showdown fights. I love showdown fights. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's when you get a couple of young, Fighters in a cage that are hungry. You get a veteran in the cage who's hungry, and they just fight. They bro, you don't get to see this stuff very often. <laughs> we were just a part of one of the better fights to ever be put in the cage in showdown fight history. <laughs> and I, I'm glad that I get to be the bearer of some very good news for you two men. Now, in showdown fight history, we've had some bonuses. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had this kind of bonus. You both have instantly been awarded a $2,500 bonus for your performance in the cage tonight. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Deservedly Woo! so. On a fight like this, there is no loser. Incredible fight, gentlemen. All right, let's get to it. With a minute and 35 coming off the clock in the third round, let's hear it for your winner by guillotine, Justin Buckle! 